and good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. I am Keith, and I'm here with a new video for you guys. Today, I have Miss Draculora here. And, um, yeah, I just want to get straight back into this. Uh, here is her box, just the standard Monster High box with her, uh, character-specific icons on the side. I love her little pumps, by the way. Um, and here is the back of the box with her along with everyone sitting down, a part of the main cast. Um, so it says her monster type is a fantastic vampire. Her monster must-haves are SPF 500 and Cherry Juice. And also her monster pet is Count Fabulous. Um, let's just not even waste any time. Let's hurry up and get her out of box so we can just enjoy this girl. All right, here is Miss Girl out of box. I'm very happy with her. I think she's really, really cute. Um, I think they did a pretty good job with her. Um, as per usual, we are going to be starting left to right. Um, let's get into her accessories. I don't know why I'm saying um a lot with her. It's kind of weird. I guess that's that's harkening back to my old days where I used to say um a whole lot. I probably still do now. But here is her little water, not water, it's like a little juice bottle keg thing where it's basically they're trying to be like, oh my god, yeah, she's vegan. She doesn't drink blood, but this is supposed to be blood. It's cherry flavor. It's cherry flavor juice. And this is like the size, if this was like brought into like the real world size, this would be like a big swig at 7 Eleven or Wawa. Like one of the huge sodas. Like, girl, you drink it all of that. And it's not even a good flavor like strawberry. They could have did strawberry. Why did they have to do nasty cherry? Like, ugh. Anyways, the top can come on and off though, so that's cool. Um, she does, she does have a little spooky pencil. And yes, I pronounce it that way. If you have a problem, you find with me in the comments. Um, she has, here's her little pencil. It has a uh, little wings and uh, a little face. I do like that. And here's the little holder for it. Uh, the pencil does fit in here pretty nicely, but um, in box, you're like, oh yeah, this Jane ain't moving out. It's not moving anywhere. But in person, out of box. Once that first time of the pencil, you know, falling out the box, it's, it's never going to stay up in there again. God dang it. Boom. And then here is her little SPF 500. Um, nothing really special with that. It just, it's just like a little squirt bottle. All her items do have little holes for her to be able to hold them. Um... And I guess we can do her glasses too, just because usually I do my glasses on my dolls, but as you can see, Miss Girl has a headband, so that gets in the way of these. Um, I think these are her, these are her uh, Bloom Beach glasses. I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to check. But here is Miss Girl out of box. She's absolutely like gorgeous and super cute. She is about, uh, she's in a, I hate how hard she like me. She is of a similar height to an OMG. Um, they're pretty much practically, this, this one right there. There we go. This one's somewhat better. Uh, she's about the same height as an OMG. Um, and she pretty much has the same body as an OMG. Um, she's very cute. I like her face. Um, her hair is saran. It's nice, long, soft saran. Um, mine seems to be somewhat full and decent. A couple ball spots here and there, but not anything too like uh, crazy but that's just how she looks without with the headband on um here is her headband 
It's just a classic regular headband with a heart back on the mirror. Nothing crazy. All right, here she is without it. Um, still rooting pretty good. Uh, mine actually has a split in her bangs. Um, she does have the normal Dracula bangs and how they're rooted and cut for this, but she has like a little small little uh, split in it right at the center. So it's kind of like a like a collar or something. I don't know. I like it. I think it's pretty cute. Um, she does have a light brown brows instead of black brows, which I think is interesting. Her eyes are a uh, pink, a uh, pink iris with like little purple details. Her makeup's pretty nice. A uh, light pink cut crease with blue, I mean with a more vibrant pink on top. She has these kind of a corally lips, a similar tone to Laguna's. Um, I feel like they took, she was one of the girls that they took a lot of time with because she has this cute little pleather bow and then a brooch on, like a little brooch necklace charm on top of it with, or under it with her bust on there. Um, she does have this little corset top it's a separate piece from this blouse that is sheer. Um, and she has little shorts on of it. And these are heart shorts with vampire teeth on them. I see that as kind of a running motif um, for her because on her hand, you can see her phone and her ring, but her phone is a, uh, it had on the back of it, it has a heart shaped mouth with vampire teeth on it and a bat sitting at the top. And this is her little, oh, there we go. This is her little uh, icon sheet. Uh, moving down, she has these cute little, uh, almost knee high, knee high socks with these, uh, when I tell you, I love me a good platform. Um, they're not Charlie's. It's the part where I really forgot what these are called. They're platform, not Chuck's, not Charlie's. Ch, ch, k, k. I, I was gonna call them Charming Charlie's. That's a jewelry place. That's not an actual shoe. It's on the tip of my tongue and I really cannot remember. But I love these types of shoes. I have these in black. Um, and she has a little heart um, with that uh, emblem thing as a strap that's holding them onto her feet. Um, I just think they're so, so cute. Um, these are definitely up my alley. gonna eat me out all day. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called. Ah. But here is her little uh, pet, Mr. Count Fabulous, uh, in his all his little cursed glory. And I love his little frill that he has and his bow. Uh, this is one another one of the Littlest Pet Shop pets that I feel like was done pretty well. I feel like Count Fabulous and um, Perseus were done the best. Um, all the rest of them can just... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Even my baby Laguna. Neptuna does, does not look good. She looks like a little koi goldfish beta thing. But here is her bag. It is a quilted bag with bat wings on it. It's a quilted heart. Um, I feel like she has a lot of heart bat wing things. I feel like they could have came up with some with something else. They could have come up with something else. Because this is a lot of heart bat wing things. When they all the uh uh. Mm -hmm. She does have a cute little capelet. 
and it's uh is of this like really sheer fabric but it has a uh, metallic fabric uh metallic uh hearts and bats and stuff printed on top of it and it just really reminds me of a uh, 1600 dracula her little 1600 birthday i would absolutely love that i'm gonna treat this kind of like how um uh the reproduction were yeah how the first wave uh signature yasmin's headscarf is where i can wrap this around her top her like shoulders and stuff but the minute that Dracula comes in some pants some nice long pants I'm gonna try this one it's like a little wrap around for them. some nice long solid black pants oof that's gonna look so good it's gonna be long but it looks it's gonna look good but I think that's everything that she comes with these are getting just surprisingly quicker and Wigger. Yes, I love that. Love that. Love that. Love that for myself. Um overall, I actually really like her. Um in her video, uh I know in that in her video I didn't do a body comparison, but that's just because I plan on doing one uh later on. Yes, I know I did one in Frankie and Deuce's video, but Deuce, because I'm not going to include him with the, like, feminine people. I was going to say girls, but then I forgot. Technically, Frankie isn't a girl either, so. But they're being included. So, I'm not going to include uh, Deuce with the feminine bodies. Because it's not really much that I can compare to. Um, where that's worth comparing, since the bodies are so different. Um, but yeah. Uh, her body comparison will be in that which will be a whole separate video some other time not today but anyways that is her I really like her I do uh, I definitely recommend her especially for people that like for people that like dolls that are more on the smaller side um, I feel like she will fit very well in your collection she, she feels good in my hands like she i like her smaller stature i do i do genuinely like that um but yeah i hope you guys have a great night afternoon in the morning wherever you are in the world and bye